Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to the Falcon in the Bowls Club here in Chelmsford, England. We are live for the SMPT 2024 English Masters final. Let's welcome your players to the mat. First up from Ireland, making his first SMPT singles final appearance, Marty McNichol. <laughs> And going for an unprecedented seventh SMPT singles title, he is the defending champion, also from Ireland, Mark Beauty.
We have a good reply from Marty there. Let me know if the sounds improve slightly. Yeah, unfortunately, the internet is very, very slow here. <clears throat> we'll be improved when we come back in August, but unfortunately. We're having real problems with the internet. So yeah, I do apologise for the probably low res. We were contemplating just recording it and putting it out afterwards, but we thought people would want to watch it live. Just wide to this. Yeah. See what it was after. Big draw from Marty here on this backhand. All right round. What's his weight like? Yeah, very good. Holding two. Yeah, there's due to be a, a good internet, um, good internet upgrade here over the summer months. So, looking forward to returning back in August. We've got some exciting news about a champion of champions event that we're going to be doing next year, and that's going to have some professional streaming on. It's going to be in March next year. All the winners of our competitions gone by, uh, over the years that we've played. Marty wins here. He will get an invitation to that. Mark's already there, of course, having won six times before. Good effort from Mark there. Marty going to try and draw in for a third here. Big draw on the forehand. Quite enough, that'd be two shots to Marty there. Marty takes the lead, 2-1. Two, two ends played, 12 ends to be played. Both these players came through uh, interesting semi-finals, playing against two aggressive players in Alex Clay for Marty and Jonas Hager for Mark. Mark's got a very good record against Jonas, beating him in a final as well here. I say it's Marty's first final. Been playing on the tour a little while now. Just contemplating Mark wearing the Taylor bowl shirt, sponsored by Taylors and Castle Beck Bookmakers. We do odds on uh, tournaments. So players commenting about their odds over the weekend. Mark was definitely in the up there with the favourites. Positive draw down now for Mark with the jack or push the pole away. 
Yeah, it's good. All right, Frank probably sounds like Simon with a cold. It's uh, Craig too in the streaming. If you're just joining, it's the third end here. It's 2 1 to Marty at the moment. It's one down in the head. Last bowl at the end from Marty to come. Mm, not what he was after. Might still be one down. Mm, an acre for Mark to draw in. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Good point, Ron. Yeah, no, to be fair, the um, sports trousers and the black trousers, I think, uh, have become almost a mainstay for lots of people. So, two all. I think as the temperature is cool, especially in the venue and Two that end there, so that will be three two to mark after three ends. Yeah, good start for Mark on the short length jack. The air conditioning has been on quite nicely in here yesterday afternoon and today. <clears throat> so I don't think shorts would be the, the third choice. It was quite warm yesterday when we started play and up until about lunchtime. But we very quickly put the air con on. Just confirmation it's currently 3-2 to Mark. Fourth end being played here. Mark with the red bowls. Good effort from Marty there. A good crowd have stayed behind to watch. Probably got about 50, 50, 60 people, which is really good. It's good to have a bit of buzz when you've got the <coughs> final underway. And obviously, for all of you watching at home, thank you very much. Really appreciate those taking the time to watch. Can see your comments, so let us know if you've got any questions. Mark's just trying to cover that back position. So Jack's going to potentially pop back. See what Marty plays here. Some really good matches this weekend. I think the Joe Beatty and its clay match in the last 16 was definitely a highlight. A real battle between two really good players. Oh, unlucky there. Might be two down now. Mark will just drop around this, I think. Yep, we draw around. Holding the two, I think, there, looking at that. Quite nice and wide. What's the weight like? It's a slightly quick. It's good, though. Here's in. 
good way to just rest onto his own. He's Marty in a bit of trouble here. Have to be a perfect draw on the forehand to get in now. He's got his own bowls, or just play through his marks. Not easy. So he's playing backhand of this. Play it as a little bit of weight to make sure he gets the follow through. Yeah, a lot of weight here. Whoa, that's a hell of a result. Hell of a result. We take that. He's in a bit of trouble there. Mark's keeping it short. Players can do that twice without penalty. Drop three shots if they do it again. Third and subsequent times. <laughs> yeah, good start again from Mark. He's just underneath the line, I think. Yeah, just underneath it. <laughs> just continue to draw away here. It's reaching draw. Reaches onto the... Yeah, that's good. Fraction more, you would have been... Perfect. Oh, I've just got to be a little bit careful. Is that on a better line? No, he's not got the weight though. It's going to pull up. No, not quite there. It's a good effort. Can have a quick look while the players are coming down. Mark holding shot currently. See what Mark. Mark can play the his own bowl. Which will split Marty's two bowls away if he really wants. Going deep. Yeah, that's good. It's in a good position. You might look at this. If it's still sitting like that after this bowl. That's yeah, been an interesting one. When I, I tend to like a short jack on, especially on these mats. Try and get a back touch with your first bowl. But uh, actually, today I went long more often than sure. It all depends. I mean, it's who you're playing against and different tactics. Definitely a different feel on a short length compared to a long length on these mats. A bit pushier. They're still not slow, but they're Bit more, bit more weight than you would think. And whilst they're all the same mats, they do vary a little bit in the weight. Oh, I was just trying to drop my out all the way around this. Yeah, we'll play on the fast mats when we go over to Norway. No, very quick mats over there. Lots of players will change their bowls for that particular event. Not play with the big bias bowls that they're using here. When we play here in Belfast and York, they'll 
use the big bias bowls, but Taylor Aces. Yeah, sorry Paddy, unfortunately. The internet is really playing up for us this weekend. Good effort again from Marty. He's one down again. So Mark takes a one shot there. So we're hoping the internet, well we know the internet will be sorted by the time we come back here in August. Having an internet upgrade here at the club, which would be most welcome. It's been struggling along with a 4G connection that's just not holding out for us much this weekend. But we felt it important to stream it live as opposed to recording it and then posting it after the event. Try and keep you updated as much as I can in terms of who's doing what. This mark is currently 4-2 up. Not really finding this short length, Jack. This is our fifth world ranking event of the season. Final one in Belfast in April. Lots of people have been asking us about the reserve list. We'll be putting the, all the names on that reserve list and contact anybody who does get in. We do tend to get a few pullouts as we approach the event itself. Looking forward to our return to Belfast. Finish off. And that's a good point, Ron. It is two long days here, particularly for these guys that are in the latter stages and get to the final. So take the opportunity to wish Jurgen Carlson all the best. He's had some ill health recently. I wish you all the best, Jurgen. I hope to see you again very soon. All the team send their best wishes. time the flower's been caught out by that hand and how much it swings, particularly with weight. Mark currently on two here. Just keep <coughs> so Mark's just drawn in for a third one there. Again apologies for the chopping out of the signal. See, Marty's going to be at this again. This could be Jack off again, you know. Might not play it with so much. He has got a good position just past it, so he's just, I'm just reaching through. Could run himself here. Oh. Yeah, just not quite getting it. That's two. So, six two now after five. It's Mark just putting it out in front now. And that experience of making finals on tour. <laughs> Sticking with that short length jack. Oh, very good again. <laughs> Not missed much with that first bowl. Marty's just not quite put the pressure on. Having to play and wait with his third or fourth bowl. 
never ideal. Now, I wouldn't be overly happy with that. We're going to be behind the jack. Right, Fools Marty, yeah. Foot out. So we some weight. Close. No, it's just not getting the, the results there. I'm looking forward to our trip back to Belfast in April, bringing you some great matches at the World Masters. Alex Clay is the defending champion now. I'll be trying to win back-to-back -back World Masters, never been done before. Mm, very good. It was Marty here who stopped Alex getting to the final. I played Alex in the quarter final and he was unbelievable. So Marty had to have played very well in that semi final to come through that. Mark came through against Jonas. Marty's just wide of it. Uh, it's just not not happening. I'm not just seeing if it's one or two. Deep in fault. I just want to make it easier for Marty here. I mean, it's sitting very well for Mark. Last bowl to come from both players. Doesn't want to make it any bigger. But if he can sit his own back bowl, that's currently, don't know if it's in there for second or not. But that's what he'll be looking for. So he doesn't want to make this any bigger. Well, that's what he didn't want to do. It does give Marty an opportunity to rest that. To get this really, get himself back into this final. It's all on the weight now. He just flops out. And two shots, I think they are. Eight two now. After six ends, so halfway through, Mark's got a six shot lead. Marty's by no means out of this. Got your message there, Kieran, about the World Masters. Yeah, we'll get you on that list. You just join us. It's 8 2 currently to Mark Beatty. Not playing very well again. He's a defending champion here, so he's going for back to back titles. Yeah, 
very good from Mark, just moving the jack to his own. Definitely in control in this final. 8-2. Mark is coming up to have a look. Players can come up at any point and have a look. Don't have any rules about that. on this forehand, surely. Oh, he's got a backhand at this. Just over the weight, try and push his own up. It's good here. It's good. It popped the jack back, opened it up a little bit. Only halfway through the match here, still plenty of time for Marty. Oh, yeah, very good from Mark. So consistent. If he does win here, he'll one seven, he'll be out on his own. Yeah, that's a very good point. Seeing very good delivery. Yeah, it's not happening for Marty, just not getting the, the little rolls here. Don't forget, Mark is playing so well as well. That's a big difference. I've given him much opportunity. It's definitely one of the best deliveries going. Very smooth, as people have said. It's good again here. Yeah, it's good. Bolstered up as well. Last bowl to come from Marty here. That's, to be fair, it's probably sat perfect. There's not much for Marty to look at, at there. The jack's not really sticking out. It's probably absolutely perfect. He can't play it with too much because if he flicks his own bowl away, he'll be four down. He's looking at a forehand, you know. Wow, this could be interesting. Wow, forehand, a lot of weight coming. Could drop a four here, you know, he gets this wrong. Yeah, it's difficult from now. I couldn't see. Much for Marty to play out there, so it's two, it's 10 2 now, seven ends. Mark is just putting pressure off from the first bowl. Deep into that short length, Jack. Yeah, don't change it, it's working for you. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, that's the same. Mark will definitely be there at the Champion of Champions next year. Going for his seventh here. Oh, very good again. Mark Beatty, seven, it's a 10 2 to Mark Beatty at the moment. We're playing the eighth end here, 12 ends to be played. Marty trying to chase it now. That's good. Mark 
it to Radio, just try and roll his own bowl over. Yeah, playing it with that sort of weight. No, it's in for shot. He has got the back position as well. Who needs Love Island? Sounds like match of the day is worth a watch tonight, not for West Ham fans, obviously. Uh, he's got that, he's got that very well there, made a good two. Gives him a bit of, bit of confidence. Mark's going to try and play it himself here. Interesting, so he's got the back position. Probably worth a go, doesn't want to be dropping three though. Right foot out. He'll be just over playing this jack back. Chip the jack back. No. Has he got it? He's got it. No. Marcy has got a shot for four. Not easy. He goes right behind here. Can he get to that? I don't think he can, you know. No, I don't think he can. The Shield final was uh, in the last session, Stephen. So that's... Um, it's just this game in play. Shield final with Sam Moore and Bob Naylor. We're we'll doing a presentation straight after here, so you'll see who the winners were. Oh, so he's just trying to get through here, can he? Mm, another one to mark, I think. Yep. No. Looking at the moment, very much like Mark's going to get his seventh. Marty's going to have to pull something out big here. 11 2 down now. 8 10's played. It's a great start again. He's been so good with that first bowl. Say so the first and third bowl, so important in the game of singles. Don't want to be leaving it with your last bowl. Marty's had to play a lot of arriving bowls for his last one. The pressure that Mark's put him under. And if you're just joining us, it's 11 2 to Mark. Playing the ninth end here. Well, thanks, Faye. Actually, had a good weekend. Oh. Yeah, I think you know when it's not your day. Right down at that. Made contact with both of Mark's bowls and flicked away and off the map. Even Mark still with the two. Mark will be drawing here. Past it. Drawing in for another. Yeah, it's good again. Yep. Not left much for Marty other than dead draw. Marty's got to try and pick up multiples now rather than picking up one. Yeah, good reply. Yeah, it's good. Can't quite mind dropping one though. Uh, 
those ends where you can just try and draw another one there to stop Marty from picking up two. Be happy with the one down. Nothing wrong with being one down. Giving it a great effort. Okay, it's not made that very easy at all for Marty there to pick up more than one. See, current score, I'll quickly show you in a second. Hopefully, this ball's come down. It's 11, 11 2 to Mark. 11 3. After nine ends. Okay, nothing free after nine ends. Marty going for a long length jack. There we go, that's his length that he wants to play. Got to be picking up a you know, big end here, really. Giving himself some confidence going to the last couple of ends. Picks up a three or four. Wow. And the change in length, I did say uh, earlier. Been playing a short length all the time. Playing Marty's length now. Marty's got to make this count. Got to be picking. Up a three or four here, really. Looks like more weight from Mark here. No, could reply. Needs to reach down here on this backhand. Sit on top of the jack. Close. Very close. Very good. Still just a draw down, I think, for Mark here. I won't be trying to play too much of this. Good effort. Mark's just seeing if he drops onto that bowl. Does he get in for three? He needs to be picking up a three here, really. Hand again, nice and wide. Taking a lot of green this hand. Wops out nice and wide. There's his weight. He's good, but he's left a little shoulder there for Mark. So Mark can now reach down here on the backhand and take two bowls away of Marty's. That'll be what he's after. If he gets perfect result, he could get shot. He has got the back bowl as well, so let's see what happens here. It's got to be fairly tight. Yeah, he's in the area here. Ooh, just clip the front bowl. Two shots to Marty. 11-5 now. Two ends to go. 
not all over just yet. It's 11.5. Confirmation on the scoreboard. Okay, there we go, 5 10 ends. So we see Marty's first bowl coming up. Thanks, Brenda. Thanks again for all your assistance on the raffle. Very much appreciated. Marty just contemplating here what he's going to play. Reach down on his forehand. And after this, one more jack. He needs to score another big end, really. Yeah, that's good. He got a bit of chalk and he killed Mark's bowl. Played it deliberately to try and do that. Mark will just draw away. Draw the winner. It's in the area again. Very good. Lost in the quarter-final run, lost to Alex Clay. He was unbelievable. Thought I had a good, good run going. I played Pauline Beatty and Nathan Hare, but uh, yeah, ran into the the wall that was Alex Clay. It's not happening for Marty with the runners. One would be enough to take it into the, the last end for Marty, but he needs to be scoring more than more than one really to give himself a realistic opportunity. See if Mark scores here. It's game over. Mark's playing with Taylor International, and I believe they are Taylor Elites that Mark is playing with. So both playing with, both playing with fairly swingy bowls. Mark's bowls look a bit smaller actually. Mark's probably playing with size four or fives and. Probably a size, size three, maybe. Yeah, might have had to go for this, back in the ditch. Got it. Made the two. Don't know about the third.
rare miss from Mark there. So two to Marty, so eleven and seven takes us into the last end. <clears throat> Needs a big four to take us to a tie break. Stranger things have happened. Yeah, he's got to move the jack up a little bit. It's hard to get a four on a long length jack. Tip for people out there as well. They've got more room to play with with the jack further up. And they're trying to pick up a big end. Oh, not a great start. I think we'll see Mark have a go at this. He's only got to lose the bowl. Force Marty to have to kill it. And you just join us, 11 7 to Mark. Now, shot and a miss. Good chance, Marty. Got to try and close this up. Can't be leaving it like that. It's good here. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's a bit of pressure on Mark. Mark's going again though. If he loses the second bowl, he knows he's good. So, and the way the jack's sitting, it's not going off. So, yeah, that's what he wanted. Yeah, see, Mark's resigned look there on his face. The jacks don't think the jack's going to go off the way the angle. So he's got to, yeah, Marty can tell. Marty's got to. Marty's got to play it to move it out and then play it off with his next one after this. Not easy. Oh, wow, well, you're reaching. It's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he's thinking now. He's only got one bowl left, and that jack's not going off, so. Trying to block it off. Very good. Yeah, so, he knows he can't do it, so that is the win to Mark Beatty. Mark takes the title, English Masters. 2024. We are going to do the presentation, so I'll hand over to Simon Pridham, who will be doing those presentations in a second. Really good performance there for Mark once again. He goes out on his own now. Seven ranking singles titles. No one else has done that, so I'll just hand over to Simon. Right, uh, thank you very much everyone who stayed to watch. I'm sure the players appreciate it, a good final. Good effort for Arto to come back there, but uh, not quite enough in the end, but uh, another very good final. We're just going to do the presentation of all the trophies now, uh, and then I'll get a quick word with Mark um, and congratulate him on his win. So first up, we'll start up with a show runner-up, and uh, from Ireland, that was Sam Moore. And the shield winner from Scotland, Bob Naylor. <laughs> and to the plate draw runner up from Ireland, Gary McNabb. And first up, your bronze medalist. First up from England, Alex Clay. Oh, 
And your second bronze medalist from Sweden, Jonas Hager. <laughs> He started strong, moved away from Marty a bit. He came back quite, quite well, but you just had to manage that final really just to get over the line at the end. Yeah, I was just trying to keep the counts down. You know, if I was losing, maybe one or two. You know, and I was, I was four up in the last end. I was always confident that you know, if Marty left me anything, I'd go for it and then just take one ball off and I'd, I'd work. Yeah, brilliant. So seven titles now. Trophy cabinet's getting very full at home, I'm sure. Uh, World Masters in a couple of months, fancy in that? Well, you know, I'll give it a go. Uh, home Territory, um, the Lock Town and Shaw's Bridge. So, yeah, I actually love over here as well as this venue, Chelmsford, and, and the pace of the match over here. It, it seems to suit my game a lot. Uh, so, yeah, Yeah, definitely right. You always do so well when you come here. Um, True great performer. Really congratulations on your win, mate. So, ladies and gentlemen, the 2024 SNPT English Masters Champion once again, Mark Beattie. Thanks, guys, for joining us for the coverage this weekend. And we're back in April for World Masters and the Belfast Open Pairs. Thanks for joining us for the World Masters and the Belfast Open Pairs. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. <laughs>